Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords continues her rehabilitation at a therapy center in Houston, Texas. It's been three weeks now since Giffords was shot in the head while holding a meet and greet with her constituents. Doctors have upgraded her condition to good. She's undergoing speech, physical, and occupational therapy at a center that specializes in treating brain injuries. That therapy is likely to continue for years. Today, News 3's Dana J spent time at a brain injury rehab center in Carbondale. She's here with more on what the road to recovery looks like for Giffords. Dana? Well, Eden, the experts at NeuroRestorative in Carbondale emphasize that no two brain injuries are the same. But in many cases, it can take years for a patient to function normally if they ever do at all. Now, some victims of brain injury have to relearn even the simplest of tasks. A brain injury prevents Angela Mooring from running regularly, so this is exciting. She was injured in a serious car accident more than 10 years ago. Now she works with Neuro Restoratives in Carbondale. Robin Ray is the company's vice president of operations. I'm happy to say we've seen lots of successes, and, and that's wonderful in terms of people improving their skills and abilities and becoming independent and going back to work and productive activity. Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford's high profile case puts brain injury treatments in the forefront. And even though each patient and injury is different, the recovery process often includes physical, occupational, and speech therapy. Michelle Vaughn is a speech and language pathologist. She says challenges are varied. Because things that we take for granted, that we did sort of unconsciously, not having to think about taking a step, not having to think about how we're going to swallow. We're just going to toss back and forth. Eventually, the goal is to focus the brain on multiple tasks. Here, Angela doesn't just balance. She throws and catches too. She target multiple areas in the brain, not just one exercise on one plane. This is multi-focus. Punching and kicking is sometimes considered advanced activity. Simple tasks can require instruction. Sometimes we put that on a written piece of paper uh, that's literally laminated and it goes in the shower with that person. Take it nice and slow. Recovery depends on the patient and there can be many steps. Being as independent as possible, living where we want to live, having relationships, being able to manage our medical situation. Now, the Centers for Disease Control estimates that 1.7 million people suffer from traumatic brain injuries each year. And you can see from the breakdown behind me, the leading cause is falls, 35.2%. 17.3% of those injuries come from motor vehicle accidents. That's the, the second highest number of causes for traumatic brain injuries. Assault, as in the Griffords case, is to blame for the fewest number of traumatic brain injuries. Eden? Every day, she gets a little bit better. And the neurosurgeons and neurologists tell me that that's a great sign. The husband of Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords reports she is making progress. Astronaut Mark Kelly didn't offer other details on his wife as he spoke in Washington today. Giffords remains in therapy, recovering from a gunshot to the head suffered less than a month ago. A former anchor here at Channel 3 may have a good idea what Giffords is going through. Longtime News 3 viewers will remember Amy Van Patten, an aneurysm in her brain ruptured 13 years ago. Since then, she's had eight surgeries. She's almost fully recovered. At about the same time as Amy's aneurysm, a member of the Carbondale community was in a serious car accident. Now she's doing her best to use her injury to make a difference. They're remarkable women who demonstrate how different and life-changing brain injuries can be. And good evening once again, everyone. I'm Amy Van Patten. This is Amy Van Patten in our newsroom in the mid-90s. A traumatic brain injury would eventually prompt her to leave the news business. Years later, she watches Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford's recovery and reflects. We recently caught up with Amy via Skype. I've been very interested in her story because there are so many similarities. Van Patten had an aneurysm, Gifford's a gunshot wound to the head. Two very different injuries, but both traumatic. Another similarity, outpourings of support for Giffords from Tucson to Washington, for Van Patten from Southern Illinois to Florida. Now, I've been gone from there for about a year and people still remember me and that really meant a lot to me. I still have all those cars. Traumatic brain injury experts like Robin Ray of Neuro Restorative in Carbondale reminds us no two brain injuries are alike. Treatment is as varied as the injuries. Speech language pathology, physical therapy, occupational therapy, neuropsychology, 
counseling, behavior analysis and therapy. There are few specifics about Gifford's recovery, but it's possible she faces challenges similar to Van Patten's. I was so focused on just getting better. You know, I had to relearn how to walk and talk and you know I basically had to relearn everything so I was just focused on that. At Neuro Restorative therapists do everything from test patients vision v -O -R. to work on motor functions Here we go. Take it nice and, slow. and build strength. The goal to get patients like Angela Mooring as close to full recovery okay. as possible. There you go. Mooring was injured in a serious car accident more than 10 years ago. She still has trouble running. It's 10-10. Well, no. And her speech isn't 100%. But she still speaks to others about how to prevent brain injury. Like wearing seatbelts, not texting while you're driving, certainly, of course, not, not drinking when you're driving. Three different victims of brain injury, one doing her best to keep others from suffering, another almost fully recovered and moved by words of encouragement, and a third with a country behind her. Amy Van Patten continues to live with her husband in Florida. She says she has trouble with her short-term memory sometimes, but manages to work part-time. Angela Mooring works with a program through Neuro Restorative and SIU called Think First.